All right, no masks, full elevators, guys. Cruising is back, for sure. Here we are. Welcome to the Mason Jar Bar and Restaurant. This was amazing Southern style food. We came here for brunch twice. And the menu is amazing. The first thing that we ordered was the pimento cheese with the saltine crackers and the jalapeno cornbread to go with it. It was literally my favorite thing in there, I think. Mima's fried chicken and waffles. This we got for the center of the table so we could all just try it because it looked really good on the menu. Had some maple syrup and just delicious. Amanda got the southern breakfast. Two eggs, bacon, sweet potato hash, and Mima's biscuits. The only thing is she wasn't sure about the sweet potato hash so they changed it out for the tater tots. Alex got the salmon avocado toast. And he wasn't really crazy about it. He ate most of it, but I don't think it was his most favorite thing on the ship. And, well, okay, so maybe I take the pimento back because the stuffed French toast, guys, you have to try it. Peanut butter, banana. I wasn't crazy about the crispy bacon on the top. It was kind of like, it tasted like candied bacon, something like, I don't know. It was weird, but the French toast, oh my gosh, it was so delicious. It was so good. Then we also, in case we didn't have enough, we got the cinnamon roll and it was seriously amazing. I don't really care for pecans, to be honest, but it, they were chopped so finely, it really didn't bother me. And with all this extra icing in the absolute cutest little mason jar on the side of the cinnamon roll. And this was a huge plate, guys, just so you know. So the cinnamon roll was very large. All four of us split it, and we even had some left over. Red Velvet Pancakes is up next for Austin, and he really enjoyed it. I will say I took a bite of his and I didn't really care for it. I do like red velvet, but I don't know. It, it kind of was a little bit cold and that could be why I didn't like it as much. I'm not sure, but he loved it. So, um, and then Alex got the Southern burger just because I guess he wasn't full enough and it had like a crispy chicken skin on the top with a burger and their amazing cheese and bacon. It was, it was delicious. He loved it. Um, and that came with some Cajun fries, which were very, very spicy. So if you don't like spicy, just ask for plain fries, not Cajun. And that is the sweet potato hash on the side. Okay, and next up is the root beer float. Oh my goodness. So they will bring them each their own cans of root beer with two scoops of vanilla ice cream and they got to pour their own root beer floats and they loved every minute of this. This was Austin's favorite. He looked forward to this each time. We were actually at the Mason Jar twice for brunch and we went another time for dinner and he absolutely loved the root beer floats. I thought I was gonna get one myself, but honestly the food was so filling that there's just, there was no room for that. Um, here is a list of alcoholic beverages. So if you're into that, which honestly, in the evening especially, I noticed this place was hopping. So everybody would come into the bar late night, lots of great drinks. So how was Mason Bar, guys? It was really good. Liked it? Yeah, yeah. Yes? I'm gonna say based on the food that is no longer on the table that we enjoyed. All right. We are rolling on out of here. See what other trouble we can get into for today. So Alex got some lobster crab type soup, which he wasn't crazy about, but he wanted to try it. Austin got mac and cheese. I, of course, got the pimento cheese spread with the saltine crackers. 
And as you're about to witness here, I used way too much pimento cheese spread on my cracker, but I would much rather eat the cheese than the cracker. It was just, it was so amazing, guys. You have to try it. Amanda got some mac and cheese also, and she's absolutely disgusted by the amount of cheese that I just put on my cracker and cannot believe I am videotaping myself eating it. So good, guys. You have to try it. It really was amazing. I didn't videotape us with the burgers and the chicken. I forgot we got so involved with eating, but here's some cherry pie, vanilla ice cream, fried Oreos, which were really good. They make them fresh. They drop them right in there. Alex couldn't decide what kind of ice cream he wanted, so he just said, man, I'm gonna get them all. And I got some vanilla ice cream and this banana pudding dessert, which honestly I didn't care for. I'm, I'm a junk food junkie. I love desserts, all kinds, and I really didn't care for it at all. So when we first got into the mason jar, a photographer came around and asked if we wanted our picture taken. He also let us know that he was going to be back at the end of our dinner with our picture to show us to see if we wanted to purchase it. It came out really nice and we thought it would be a fun little memento from our trip to the mason jar, especially since we loved it so much. It came in a nice portfolio with a picture of the wonder of the seas on one side and then our mason jar picture on the other. And it's kind of funny because we noticed after the fact that on the outside of the portfolio, it had the names of all of the different Royal Caribbean ships, except for the wonder of the seas wasn't on there. Either way, it doesn't matter. We thought it was fun. It was only $24.99 and it's perfect. Guys, I hope you liked our video. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and hitting the notification bell. And make sure you share this video with your friends because it helps out a ton and it keeps the algorithm happy. Bye!